Yeah. There's a feather! <gasps> oh! Pretty feather. Well, let me tell you. It, it, oh, maybe I can't tell you. It just all of a sudden happened and uh, I woke up maybe. Was it a dream? I don't know. I know what. Come with me and I'll show you. Yeah, I can show you what happened. You see, it was a stormy and stormy day. Rain was falling. It was more like a drizzle, maybe, and no wind, it was kind of warm, and uh, it was damp, though, uh, kind of uh, mystical, yeah, it was mystical. And all of a sudden, I came upon this this place. I don't know where it was, but it looked so familiar to me. <gasps> I felt it was like home. Or maybe it was home. I still think it was a dream. <gasps> I just don't know. <gasps> I just was so beautiful. All the people from the community came together. They did, man. Everybody. It must have been real. Because it was people that I knew, yeah? The community. A celebration of spring, they said, yeah. Oh, it was so beautiful, yes. Everybody brought flowers. Oh. If you would have been there, you'd been touched too. <gasps> but I'll show you. We'll go back and see it. Let me say, I remember this pole. And people were going around it and around it and around it and this way and that way and <gasps> I'll show you what it looks like now. Oh, maybe I can show you what happened before, but it was so great. It was so great. It's a weave. <gasps> An intertwining of everybody in the community. Yes, it was. Oh, what a dance, I say. What a dance. It was beautiful. <sighs> Come with me and I'll show you. Beautiful place where they had it all together. This is little fires. They had food. <sighs> and then... The fairies came out and frolicked in the field! Oh! oh, that was so cute! Oh, The music was playing and we were all by the fire! And then the fairies came out and they chased everybody and chased each other! And, oh, it was so cute! Never seen fairies frolic in the field, but if you try to say it to me, time you'll spill! <laughs> anyway. They went round and round and round. Oh, man, Intertwined! Oh, and when they came out... They would so come back together. Yeah. So come back together. It was so beautiful. Let me say, 
Uncle, show you. Yes, come, 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 come. I'll yes, show you. I did it all. It's so beautiful. It's right. It's right over there. It's right over there. Right behind me, yeah? Can you see behind me? There it is. Oh, come, 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 come. Let's go and see it now. I want to show you. Oh, you love it. Oh, it's beautiful. Come, 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 come. Come, come, come. Come, 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 come. Tonight, I make my body a prayer. Tonight, I dedicate each movement of my dance to peace. Tonight, I remember every pleasure in my body heals Mother Earth. I remember and reinvent the fierce, loving, warrior human woman I am. Tonight, I draw my bow and shoot a thread around us all. Tonight, I draw us close. Tonight, I see the mountain, and it moves like a thousand birds' wings. Trembling mass, unique and unified. Each teardrop dissolved into ocean. Each baby at the one mother's breast. Tonight, I make my body a prayer to pave this holy way.
and the white. An ancient telling of this time we are in. And so, our story begins. Birthed from the watery womb in the dark of night. that brings everyone together. It's a lot of different names for making sound together. Lots of different cultures do it. Every time a group of people comes together and makes a sound together, that sound will never be repeated again and has never happened before. That is an original moment, an original sound. I would be honored to make an original sound with you all here now. That air is fresh here. 
That air is so fresh here. Oh, we just came through a lot of places where that air wasn't that fresh. It's fresh here. Yeah. That's on our bus, the air was definitely not that fresh. But we give thanks for the fresh air here. These tree beings, these tree people. I give thanks and call to that air. A beautiful breath. First thing we came through, touched our skins, came out of our mothers, gave so much for us. That breath, that air, touched our skins. Our people survive off that. Minutes without that, our people die. Our people cannot survive without you. I thank you. I give thanks to you and call you here. In beautiful love and beautiful trust, the breath, the clarity of the mind, the voice that we can communicate with each other, to be good with each other in a good way, using that voice of communication that clear thought that you bring when we breathe you in, that air, the beauty and inspiration of the birds that fly upon your waves, that air. I call that air to be here, to be here in this space with these people on this beautiful, powerful night, day and time. Let us be able to communicate with each other in good, deep ways. Let us be able to breathe and heal ourselves and each other with that air in good, deep ways. Let us make music. Let us have fun. Let us unfold good, balanced things with the strength and power you give us, great air. people survive to the point we have. Some stories say the Creator's Spirit and the animals all gathered together to give us fire. We didn't have sharp claws. We didn't have thick fur. We didn't have great sense of smell. All those things, the animals felt sorry for us. Look at these people supposed to caretake this land, Creator. What do they have? Let them have fire so they can cook their food. They can heat themselves, those poor creatures without fur. The fire is given so much for us. We thank this fire so much. The spark, the spirit in our hearts, the flame of passion that makes life light. That cleansing, cleansing fire. That element that lets us release things and not have them stay with us attached so we're always stagnant. The fire burns it, lets us be new. Call to the fire. Passion, spirit, love, cleansing. Give thanks and humble honor to the fire. Just let us gather, let us travel, let us survive. Perfect love and perfect trust that honor call the fire as our guide and ally here to help us be clean and strong in a good way.
blood that flows through our veins, that which we are more of than anything else, water. Like the air and the fire, without it we die, we perish. If it is black, thick, and polluted, and there is no more of it, there will be no more of us. Honor, cleansing of that water. The deep emotions of the ocean. The subconscious places we find. That depth and inspiration. Flowing, cleansing, washing away. Floating embrace of the womb, places we have all been. Dry, hot, sunny day, sandy, dirty, all marsh, about water. Those moments so simple, so essential. Thanks to thanks to her, that water.
honor to the mother, my mother, a birth and a birth, way back. They all did it so the next one could come, so you could be here now. Thanks to all of them. Thank you, ancestors. To the father, the man, that God. So many different facets and faces and names and ways. Thank you. The provider, the seed plantor. Our culture needs you healed and back in a good way. Whether he was there, whether he was what you thought he would be. Father's 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 father. He slaved you. and bled and worked for us to be here now. Amen. Thank you. And I give him so much shit. And he did all he did so I could stand here now. I'm sorry and I thank you and I love you. All the times I didn't understand. Now that I'm a father, I see all the times I'm not understood. Thank you, I am humble. The sun that shines down upon us. Thank you. Thank all of your fathers and those who came before them. For doing what they did so you could be here now. Men, raise your hands. Raise your hands! 
shaman, elder, teacher. Looked a lot of my life. I had no idea he and she were gonna be so short. <laughs> Man. Show them what we've learned so that they can take that and fly with it and teach us where to go with it. Brought this cedar here from the north, British Columbia, Canada, the deep mountains. Many of us come. It was winter solstice cedar from my family's solstice cactus tree. I'm going to put this winter solstice on this summer solstice fire for you all. I've been told cedar is one of the many, many gifts from Creator. It helps clear the way. Things feel funny, it helps things get good again. Yeah, it helps us let it go into the fire. We take it. Ah. It helps us pray. There's still life in the cedar. When we burn it in the fire, it takes that light, a bit from that tree, and the smoke goes up to Creator. Take our prayers with it. I want to put this cedar on the fire for all of you. Make things good for you. Hey, this is Arthur. And you know what? I, this is a beautiful, beautiful ride here. Uh, Anthony, tell us a little bit about it. Well, this is a 2006 Ford Mustang GT. Um, it's totally stock except for the paint you see on the hood. That was done by a guy in Happy Camp by the name of Ray the Painter. Well, and what is this a picture of a, a horse? It's an Indian war pony. An Indian war pony. Oh, do you plan on doing a little war dance for us tonight? <laughs> no, that's that's another show. <laughs> that's another show. Oh, I bet you this sucker has a lot of horses under it, eh? About 300. 300? 300 horses? 300 ponies. Now, can you imagine 300 ponies under this hood? Mm, I think we got our calculations mixed up. No. Not 300 horses, 300 ponies. Ponies, hey. This is Arthur again, and, and, and we have Randy. John. John. Yeah. Randy was the last guy. This is John. Hey, John, where are you from? I'm from Montague. Um, Montague, and where is that from here? Uh, Montague is about 25 miles north. It's at the other end of the Shasta Valley. Okay, okay. And, and what's so special about Montague? Well, Montague is one of the older towns uh, in Siskiyou County. It's uh, traditionally a rail town, a cattle town. Um, there was a lot of big box factories and stuff up there in the past. Uh, right now it's a little quiet in Montague, but we're working really hard to get ourselves economically redeveloped up there. and. Uh, we're doing a lot of uh, events. We've got uh, the Montague Festival in June, and we got the Balloon Festival uh, at the end of September. Uh, we do an annual Christmas the tree balloon ride. festival. Yeah, that's the you guys got those great big balloons that spark out some light. That's it, the hot air balloon. Wow! Yeah. Hey, hey, uh, Kurt, didn't you get uh, some pictures of the Montague? Oh, we'll have to show, uh, cut that in here. All right, good. He yeah, just got balloons. it at nighttime, but it was really exciting. Yeah, it was a good year this year. We had uh, three days where they were able to fly every day. Wow. And the weather was really good. Sometimes when it's too windy, they can't fly. But this year, they got to fly every day. And uh, well, they had pretty good participation. Do you get a pretty good draw of people? We do, yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's uh, several hundred that come in that are just part of the balloon uh, group. And they set up out on the outside of town and uh, with their RVs and stuff. And then we have a parade that day on Saturday. Wow. You know, I keep saying I'm going to make it there one of these days. So uh, if you got any pictures, we'll insert them in here. Yeah, we can get you some pictures. All right. Definitely. All right. So what are you doing here in this uh, uh, rolling in weed day in California? Well, we uh, know Lewis that has the new Century Gallery here, Turn of the Century Gallery. Turn of the Century, and, yes. Um, and Stephanie Shaver, who's one of the organizers for the Stephanie. Weed Hey, where's Stephanie? There she is. Hey, Stephanie.
Come on here. Well, Shantam, give us a word. The word is just great, and it's great to be back, and, and you've had a wonderful day, and right. thank you all for watching. Yeah. It's, it's been, been a great Ecology Center fundraiser and fun day. Send your money this way. Send your money to the Ecology Center, and come next year to the rafting day. Mm -hmm.